Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this competitive world, if I want to achieve something, I need to continuously upgrade my skills. And computer programming is one of the versatile skill that can be used in many fields. And learning programming language is not that difficult now. We have so many tutorials on various platforms. And here I am starting a new video series. And this is the very first tutorial on this video series. And today here we'll talk about what is computer programming and some basic terms related to programming. Computer is an electronic device that collects information, stores it and processes it according to the given instructions and finally gives you the result. Output. To perform task, computer needs instructions and this set of instructions are called as program. And the one who gives these instructions or the one who writes the program is called as programmer. And to give this instruction to the computer, we need programming language. Like for us to communicate with others, we need language, right? In the same way, programmers also need language to communicate with the computers. And this language is called as programming language. Programming language is a way for programmers to communicate with the computers. And C, C++, Python, Java, JavaScript, these are the, some of the famous programming languages available now. And we can divide this programming language into three parts. That is low level language, high level language and middle level language. Okay, first let's talk about low level language. Low level languages are very close to the computer instruction set and processor can easily understand this language. And we can further divide this low level language into two parts. One is machine language, another one is assembly language. Machine language is the computer's language. In simple terms, it is the language that computer understands. In this language, the instruction will return in zeros and one. It consists of series of binary numbers that is zeros and ones. And as I said, this is the computer's language. So computer can easily understand these instructions and it will execute the program faster. But for the programmers to understand the instruction written in zeros and ones quite difficult. And also to find the error in that series of zeros and ones also difficult. So we can say machine language is computer friendly and it is not so friendly for the programmers. Next, let's talk about assembly language. Compared to machine level language, the assembly language is more readable. And these languages are designed for specific processors. It represents the set of instruction in readable and symbolic form. We can say assembly level language is just a human readable way to write machine language. Rather than writing the instruction in zeros and ones like in the machine language, here we'll write the lines like this, add, we can use add, mul, like this. And to convert this assembly level language to machine level language, we can use assemblers. And these low level languages are machine dependent. They are not portable. Okay, so this is about the low level language. Next, let's talk about high level language. High level languages are easily readable, easy to write as well as easy to maintain. Finding the error in these instructions are easier because it is more readable. These languages are programmer friendly. And to translate this high level language to machine level language, we can use compiler or interpreter. Python, Java, JavaScript, these are the few high level languages. These languages are machine independent, so it is portable. Okay, so low level languages are machine friendly, high level languages are programmer friendly. Next is middle level language. It is also called as intermediate language. It lies between low level and high level language. It is closely related to machine as well as human being. It supports the feature of both low level as well as high level languages. 
and C and C++ are considered as middle level language. Okay, so this is about the programming language and its types. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you next class. Till then take care.